maybe not. I'm not sure. Okay, e5, what is going on on the board? d takes e5, or queen takes e2, or even bishop to g4 are all possible moves. Okay, I'll capture e5. Okay, it works now. <clears throat> My connection is fine, guys. All the tests show that, but something really happens recently to the quality of uh, live stream producer, the software we're using. And yes, I'm not at Hamburg. That's true. Okay. Okay, I have only 22 seconds, so I should have to finish this game. And I hope the rest of the show won't be that bad, okay. No, checkmate is coming. Whew. Okay, so I managed to win the second game, um, and I hope now the stream is more or less fine, so let us continue. Okay, some challenges, and bleed dating. I want to play you, and again, I'm playing black. So, I'm waiting for you guys. E4. Okay, another strange opening choice. Scandinavian, never played with black, but what to do? Today is a show of strange opening choices. Okay, let's see what is going on here. Bishop to f4. I've never seen this move, but okay. So, let us castle. That is the basic idea of Black's setup, so quick castling loan, and then trying to do something on the king's side. Bishop to d2, okay. Trying to challenge my queen. Mm, well, can I just take on d4 here? I'm not sure that the knight c3 has good choices there. But after knight d4, it's possible, for example, to take to go to b5, let's say, and then to take on d4. Not so clear. I can also take on f3 first. And then if bishop takes, knight takes d4, it looks 
just fine with an extra pawn. Mm, okay, let's check it, if it works. Maybe I just blunder something, maybe not. I can't be 100% sure. Because I'm ill today. <laughs> Okay, so now I have an extra pawn, right? Bishop to g4 check. Okay, I'll take it. Queen takes g4 check, but I have f5. Strong move. Looks like forcing the queen back, yeah. Okay, what about one more check, probably? On e5. So if king f1, I will be happy. Uh, if bishop e3, then f4. Okay, so finally king to f1. Mm, looks like it's time to complete a development somehow. But bishop g5 is kind of threat, maybe. So looks like it makes sense to play f4, but then queen g4 check. Okay, not very pleasant stuff. So maybe just to put the queen on f6 to prevent this bishop g5 and then to play e5. Because I don't want to play e6. I want to play in a more active way. And at the same time, after queen f6, I have a chance to continue checking my opponent's king if I want. Yeah, so queen f6 looks just natural. Bishop to e3. Do I have some tactics? Queen a6, can g1. Knight b3 is possible here. But okay. Let's just continue developing pieces. It can't be bad. With a tempo. I do love tempo moves. Okay, where do I need my bishop now? On c5, I guess. Uh, looks just fine. g3 well what about putting another rook to d file yeah black has an overwhelming position already but i still have to convert it to a win if he takes on d4 i take on d4 that's okay, queen c6 is possible now. Uh, what else? Okay, I'll just capture this first. Queen to c6 looks tempting. Maybe forcing another weak in another position. F3. Okay, I have to open up a position, so e4 looks just very tempting. Why I should open it? Because his king is vulnerable. I have to get to his king. Yeah, I have to talk to tech staff to change the way I provide those broadcasts because it started being really irritating. Every live show starts with some technical issues and as you can see today, uh, we have some technical issues throughout the show. That's not appropriate. f4 okay e3 looks pretty cool and now rook goes straight forwardly to d2 uh, very good position yeah overwhelming okay so uh guidance uh if black plays knight c6 in the scandinavian 
the best way to react is to put the bishop on b5 actually. So you can do it immediately or you can do it after knight to f3. Uh, but bishop f4 looks a bit um, uh, a bit slow. So bishop b5, the idea is just to damage the pawn structure. If black doesn't protect the knight c6 with the minor piece, if black does, then you just develop your pieces normally. I mean, knight to f3, and there is no longer problems with this bishop g4 move. That's the basic idea. And almost at any moment, you can do what? You can take on c6 and then continue with the knight e5. Very uh, strong idea for white. Just for example, if castles, uh, let's say castles, yeah, and if, uh, for example, knight f6, then exactly bishop takes, bishop takes, and knight e5, forcing the bishop to e8, very ugly position. And then you just switch to uh, playing on the uh, queen side, like a3, b4, and so on. You have very strong knight, something like that. So the, uh, the main point is to put the bishop on b5. Okay. So let's get to other uh, guys, other players. Mm, okay, Mr. Koval. Let's play with you. Another black game. Okay, okay. If Chess24 wants me to play only with black pieces, I will do that. So I already played G6. I played, okay, what I played? C5. I played D5. Uh, okay, let's play this. <laughs> so, a look in defense. Let's see if I can survive it. D takes e5, knight takes. It's very important not to play knight d7 here because of knight takes f7. So we start with the c6, protecting the knight. And now I'm ready, uh, I guess, to play this knight to d7. Move. Oh, castles. That's interesting. OK, I'll capture that. And what about just attacking this pawn immediately? So usually after knight e7, as far as I know, knight goes back to f3 to prevent this sort of this sort of simplification. Okay, f4 weakens e3 and the whole diagonal a7 g1. Can I use it immediately with the queen b6 check? King goes. To the corner, then knight e3, bishop takes, queen takes. So what do we have? I have a pair of bishops, but uh, something really horrible happens to my development. So probably it's better to start with the g6 move. It looks like an, just a natural way to prevent immediate f5. At the same time, I prepare something like bishop to g7 with the quick castling. And now I think I can do that, right? Queen b6 check, then knight e3, takes, takes. It doesn't look like I lose something there, so let's do it. Instead of passive knight b6, looks just cool. Rook f2, okay, so this is better. Then king h1, probably, probably not. Okay, knight goes to e3. Let's say where the queen goes. If bishop takes, then probably something like the same. But when the queen goes somewhere, what should I do? For example, if queen d3, then I can play uh, knight to g4, forced in something like bishop takes, bishop takes. Eh, might be interesting. Okay, let's try it. I still hope I don't blunder something. <sighs> Queen to d3. Okay, my knight is hanging, so I don't have really a choice. So let's do this. But knight to g4. Okay, so here I have an interesting move bishop to f5. But I don't think it gives me anything specific, so I will just go back with the queen. 
I can put my bishop on f5 at any moment. Okay, so nothing really threatens here, I guess. So I can play bishop to g7 or h6. Well, g7. Knight to c3. Okay, let's turn to castle. Well, I've managed to complete a development, right? Not that bad. I have pair of bishops, but position is not that open. Mm, I have no real weaknesses. That is an achievement. And I will probably try to do something with this e5 pawn. Maybe just trying to undermine it with the help of f6. But let's see. Is it possible immediately here? Mm, not quite sure, but let's try. Just like a natural way to activate g7 bishop. It looks really passive when the pawn is on e5, supported by the f4. And when you have pair of bishops, of course, you have to try to open up a position, even if you make some concessions sometimes. Okay, so what does my opponent have here? It's possible to take on f6, it's possible to play something crazy like g4. Uh, it's possible to protect e5 pawn with this move, yeah. I thought of that possibility. And of course, if I play c5 here, the knight goes to d5, that's really bad for me. So I can't play c5 actually. Uh, what should I do here? Uh, I can actually just take on e5, it also looks just normal. Uh, I can also play rook to d8, which is quite interesting. Not sure which move will be better. Bishop h6 also deserves it. attention, just attacking f4. Well, well, well. Okay, let's just activate the rook, it can't be bad. And now, when white plays, for example, g4, I have a square on c8. If white now plays e6, I probably have just queen takes f4. So winning a pawn and attacking the bishop on d4. Looks fun. The rook to d1, very natural response. Is it possible to play bishop h6 now? Just exerting some pressure on f4. My position is quite complicated. And not so easy for me to play because I've never played this type of positions. But, well, what should I do? Okay, now my a7 is heading for sure, I have to protect it. And I guess b6 is just the best way to do that because I have no right to um, weaken my dark squares. Okay, so b5 is pretty much forced now. Okay, how to continue? Oh well, bishop f4, queen takes e7, what is that? Not so easy to estimate, so I'll just start with this. f4 is heading now, and I have 55 seconds. Knight to e2, okay. So let us regroup the pieces. Okay, what about activating the rook this way? 
looks promising. F4 is hanging now. I'm about to play another rook to e8. Position is now more or less open, so actually I achieved my goal. I opened up a position and now I start activating my pieces, trying to unleash the power of pair of bishops. That's the plan. G4, okay. Let us hide here on C8. Okay, this gives me a pawn. Uh, nothing else is hanging, so rook to e8 should be fine. Okay. Go back, please. Here I will go for some simplification, I guess. I have extra pawn, so why not? Okay, let's protect b4. So extra pawn and looks like a better position. Yeah, one on time, but position was already much better for black. Okay, okay. Uh, ready for ever says we never played before. Okay, so I will try to find you among the challengers. If it is what you mean. Yeah, I can see you. Okay, I accept. The challenge and again black. Well, looks like I played everything that I've never played in serious games, so now I'll play something normal, finally. C4, E6. G3, D5. Just a healthy central strategy. Okay. Push up to E7. Castles and castles. B3. Well, it's time to occupy the long diagonal as well. B6 is just a natural move here. D3. Hmm. Okay, let's try to be a bit more active. In occupying the center, takes on d5. So here I have a pleasant choice between taking with the knight, taking even with the bishop, and taking with the pawn. Um, interesting. Okay, I'll take with the pawn. Never mind. Yes, and now we'll have this typical position with hanging pawns. Let's see. Knight goes to c3. Okay, if it takes on c5, if I take on c5, d5 is still protected, right? So I can try playing this. So e file is open. It's just natural to try to occupy it with the rook. And maybe then to occupy e4 with my knight. Okay. Henning pawns are probably better than isolated pawn. But who knows? Okay, e3. Preventing my d4 move. Okay, let's go away with the bishop and start controlling e file with the rook. Rook goes to c1, preparing probably something like knight to a4. Okay. That is not that dangerous. I will also put my rook here to protect c5 in advance. Okay. c5 is under pressure a bit. Can I just play knight to b6? Yes, I guess I can.
if knight takes, I will recapture with the pawn. Just protecting c5 and uh, improving my pawn structure. If knight goes back to c3, then it was just a waste of time. Okay, queen takes. What is going on? I have pair of bishops. Already quite pleasant. Knight to c3. Well, now I don't uh, need my rook on the c file. It's buried on the d file, preparing something like d4. Well, I like my position now. Knight to b5, okay, still attacking something. Bishop to a6, knight to c7, bishop f1, knight e8, attacking my queen, rook e8, and takes on f1. Will be just a simplification. Well, is it really dangerous if the knight goes to c7? Well, at least it will be annoying. So how to prevent it correctly? Or nothing wrong with that. So a6, knight c7, okay, rook to e7, so what? Mm, yeah, it doesn't look like a dangerous idea. So a6, simply. Knight to a3, that's really strange. c4 is interesting, just attacking the knight. Where the knight goes, to c2 probably, and I achieve nothing. So maybe it's better just to stick to d4, very natural idea now. Go into attack. So I have again I have a pair of bishops, right? I have to open up a position. Moreover, there's a central breakthrough is kind of a typical idea when you have handing pawns. It gives you some activity, it gives you a passed pawn usually. And looks like I've just prepared for that perfectly. So all my pieces are activated. So it can't be bad, I mean. Now what? D3 is coming. Like the winter. Oh, the first jokes today. Okay. Not very fun, but what, what to do? Okay, let's go further. Activating to the maximum. Knight to d2, well, let's take that. <sighs> the next active move should be something like rook to e2, right? Is it a good idea? I think so. Everything according to Aaron Nimtsovich. So... When no one blockades your pawn, just push it. When the file is open, try to occupy the second rank. Knight to e4, okay. Queen to b2 looks tempting, but I think it is also an interesting idea just to challenge this knight somehow. Mm -hmm. I'm not so sure, let's get to b2. Just attacking everything on the second rank. <clears throat> Queen to A one. Okay. Let's grab a pawn. First material achievement in this game.
And now it's time to convert. I have to be careful though. My opponent has a knight. Which is a potential source of different forks. Okay. I will attack the pawn first. Knight to g5. Okay. Let us capture it first. Very bad conversion. Oh, checkmate. Wow. Lucky me. Okay. I had only a few seconds in the very end. And, well, finally I won. Okay. So, is it possible to play a white game today? I'm really interested because I'm tired of playing black. Let's have a look. So there are some players just offering some random stuff. But, uh, as you can see, it's usually gives me black even if it is a random challenge mm, okay let's try this guy and white pieces wow what a good choice okay e4 and sicilian well it should be something really nice. I feel that. Okay, a6, I usually play bishop d3, but let's play knight to c3 here. Also, a theoretic move. So, now bishop goes here. Castles. Simply completing a development. And here, just not to lose the time, I just capture there and let's do this immediately <clears throat> prior to black played e6 e5 so now if e5 i can even i think play f5 just grabbing the space one of possible ways of playing this position another one is to take on e5 and then bishop to f4 trying to be very active but i'm not sure that it it is appropriate way of playing here, well, let's calculate f takes e5, knight goes to g4, already with the threat of uh, bishop c5 check, well, looks not very fun. Okay, so let's just close it. So at least I limit the activity of the light squared bishop, so I grab some space on the king side. My main problem that my bishop on d3 is just very stupid, but okay. I will try to solve this problem later. Okay, h5. What he wants to do? He wants to put the knight on g4, or he wants to play something like h4, knight h5, and then knight g3 just checkmated me, right? Right. Okay. Let's put the queen on f3, just protecting f2. B5, typical reaction. What about this square for the bishop? After h5, it became quite tempting. So now I need 
somehow to use the D file, maybe to undermine all those pawns a6, b5, c6 with the help of a4 or c4. Otherwise, it will be very hard for me to break through. So he's ready to castle long, I guess. Okay, so let's create some pressure there. I don't have an immediate threat, I think, but, well, anyway, when it is under pressure, it means it's not so easy for black, for example, to play c5. And that is kind of plan for black, right? Just to put the bishop, let's say, on d4, then to play c5, or to put the bishop on b6, and then to play c5, activating light square the bishop. Uh, when my pawn is already on a4, well, whenever he plays c5, I capture on b5. Okay, knight on g4. Is there a threat? Not quite sure. What will happen if I play f6 here? Probably just g6. Well, uh, if I take on b5, he takes with the a pawn, right? In order not to weaken d5 square. Okay, how can I challenge the knight on g4? I can put my bishop on e2. And then to do what? To play something like queen to h3 at the proper moment but i can't really do that because bishop controls f2 h3 is possible followed by queen g3 but uh, he already has a threat of queen b6 or something just adding another piece to control f2 square it will be already a threat of knight f2 check so maybe i have to put the knight sorry to put the bishop on e2 first and f Queen goes to b6, then bishop to h4, protect an f2. Already trying to do something with that knight, but it looks not good. But okay, let's try it. Knight f2 is only one check, so actually um, I can even try something like h3 move. Just creating h2 for my king. Queen b6, so first maybe to start with a5, but I'm not sure if it is a good idea for me. a5, queen a7. Not that great. But okay, let's protect simply f2 square. And now it's time to do something with the d-file, I guess. Or at least to try to challenge this knight on g4. So probably I will have a chance to play queen g3 next move. Attacking the knight. That's the idea of bishop e2. to e3 okay let's make it interesting I want to sacrifice that exchange but to attack something in black's camp just like g7 and e5 interesting targets <clears throat> kind going to double attack g7 and e5 are hanging And if knight takes f1, probably I will start with queen takes g7. Okay, king f8. It was just a dream, just a dream. How to break through here? Queen e5. 
Not a complete compensation, actually. F6, just G6. Starts looking boring. Okay, let's take this one on F5, come on. And sacrifice this exchange, finally. I will have some compensation anyway, because look at the rook on h8. I think black will have a hard time activating it. Which means this material advantage is not that critical. Okay, where to put my queen? Let's do it to g3. Oh, very nice move. <clears throat> yeah, that was just that was just a trap, which he avoided. But now I'm going to d seven, maybe. Let's try it. Okay. Regrouping. Okay. Check. Maybe not necessary one. Okay. That is great. Check. One more check and checkmate next move. Pair of bishops and the rook is still on h8. So I definitely had a compensation for a missing exchange just because of that uh, fact. So the rook is completely misplaced on h8. And uh, it's very hard to activate it, but probably black had a chance to uh, play in a more solid way and just to prevent all this stuff. Who knows? Okay. One more challenge. And I want to play with white, but I believe that after playing this white game, it will again force me to play with black. But okay, what to do? So let's play with somebody who is rated over 2400. Let's see. Okay, one more white. That's interesting. That's interesting. French defense, well, okay, not a, the most interesting opening to play against, but, okay. Bishop to c4, c5, really? What is that? Okay. Then just d5. So, really? I don't know the theory here, but it looks very strange just capture here come on what is going on is it really possible to play like that I have no idea okay I will protect the pawn on f4 Queen goes to b6. My opponent plays quite quickly, so it looks like this kind of theory, or what? But I can't get the point. Okay, so... Queen b4 is this red. Just taking my bishop. Careful, Andre. You can easily... blunder it. So let's play this. Protect him before square. I have a better pawn structure. 
already. So e4 is not a healthy pawn. e6 either. So my main goal here is just to complete the development and long term I will be just much better. So the guys are asking when can you play Alikinian? Um I wanted to say never <laughs> but of course I wanna play him. But maybe next time, because he's a tough opponent, and today I'm just sick. Um, I know it sounds like a lame excuse, but what can I do? So, b5 is an idea after queen c6, and e3 at the same time. Okay, I definitely have to stop b5. At the same time, I don't want to lose the time. Yeah, it sounds weird. Okay, maybe queen to b3, just prevent to b5, attacking a6, but then e3 might be not that pleasant, but at the same time, I'll have f3. Okay, let's play queen to b3. Looks just natural. Attacking e6, controlling b5 square. Very nice. What's interesting, the material is even. I don't believe in the power of Black's counterplay here. So strategically, White already has a winning position, but it's Blitz, so everything may happen. Moreover, when you play to a sick Andre, so you have chances in any position. Oh, well, looks like my opponent has some problems finding a move. That's a good sign. King to f7. Okay, knight h3 is tempting. Um, but then h6 simply stops that. So maybe it's better to castle. Can I just castle? Then knight goes to b6, that's the idea. But then bishop b5. Queen to c7. Not that clear. Okay. Do I have a better idea here? Knight to h3, h6, then what? Uh, not clear. Not clear. Okay, let's try castle. Looks very tempting. And what about another sacrifice? Rook to d6, bishop takes, bishop takes e6. Should be very nice. But I will start with the knight h3 here. Yeah, now rook d6 probably. Mm, let's check it. Not sure if it is completely correct, but looks like a move I can't stand making. Check. Maybe it was too much, I don't know. Instead of king f7, knight b3 was better. You mean knight b6 probably, but then bishop b5 winning a queen. That was not possible. 
rotors. Okay, let's activate everybody. D7, no, D7 is too early. Okay, let's activate everybody. Okay, it's going to be fun, or maybe not really. Mm, one more pawn, please. <sighs> Where to put my queen? Let it be on d4 central position and the bishop to the center as well and taking here damage in the pawn structure and the knight closer to the center okay so i have to put d7 queen of four check okay so i should protect the knight first that was a trap okay let's do this activation Hmm. He finds all the defenses. It's not very pleasant. It looks like I'm still better or not. Queen C5. Something threatens. I don't think so. So let's get there closer to the king. Okay, can't see anything wrong with that. Closer to the game. Either a checkmate. Should be, right? Check. Check. And queen here, checkmate. Okay. Here we are. Okay, let's play some more. <coughs> uh, sorry for that. One more tea portion. Uh, it doesn't help anymore. So, thanks for the game. Thanks for the game. One more. One more. Alekinin is here. So everybody's waiting for Alekinin, right? But three minutes, man. We discard that already, right? So five minutes works. Three minutes, no. So next time. Okay. That was a lame excuse, sorry. Uh, Mr. Moby, accept. One more black game. d4 well something closed again something closed i don't have to calculate a lot of variations what do you mean elegant in you created another challenge with the five minutes right or what the show to you just let me know if it is so then next game will be against you Okay, c3. What is that? Okay, let's play d5. Simply. I don't understand the point. So c5. Active. He wants to play e4. Okay, let it be. Knight to e5. What? 
about 90 c6 f4 okay bishop to d6 probably Knight to f3, probably intending to do what? To take on c6 and then to put another knight there, alright? Right. Okay, let's try to prevent it. The knight e7, a bit strange move. Oh, that is a mistake, I guess. Maybe not a critical one. Okay, so what is going on here? F7 is hanging. If I castle, knight takes, knight takes, bishop takes, king takes, queen check, king goes back to g8. Looks like not a checkmate. Uh -huh. Very strange. Okay, let's castle. Oh, dangerous. Okay, bishop to d2. What about just h6? Go away, buddy. Do you want to go away? Oh, he doesn't want to go away. Hmm. That's interesting. But this weakens g3. Can I play just knight f5, creating a sort of knight g3? Let's check it. Looks like a tempting move. Patrick asks, after your show, do you want to play with me? We'll be happy to play with an international master. Well, uh, with pleasure, but I'm sick today. So probably after the show, I will go to bed immediately. So what is going on? E4 is just a hole, right? Okay, so knight goes there. Oh, really? What is here? F6, maybe? Yeah, go away from here. I don't like that knight. Now, E5 looks tempting. And the light squares are mine. So, what is here? <coughs> it's time for attack on the on the king's side on the queen's side sorry for him on the king's side for me on the queen's side he wants to play g4 probably so maybe it will be a good idea for me to prevent that how to do that maybe bishop to c8 why not i have the time i guess <clears throat> Well, queen f7 was much better. But after this move, well, I'm satisfied with the bishop c8, of course. Now I have very healthy pawn. On g4, next move will be h5. Well, position is lost. It's time to resign, Moby. 
but you can play of course if you want what h5 giving me a piece hmm interesting I will capture it I don't know why it is bad, but okay. Bishop to f5. Extra minor piece. Okay, I'm not against Oof. this bishop h7. Okay, you bury my bishop, but at the same time, you never have a counterplay over g file, right? Am I right or not? I think it's time to attack. Let's get there. Oh boy, what is that? What is that? B4. Checkmate. Is very soon. to c2 okay capture that Okay, <clears throat> thank you for this game. So, let's have a look at the challenges. I look in in five minutes, okay? So I promise to play, so I play. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Sicilian, welcome. Welcome to Sicilian. Okay. Oops. Do you know this move? Let us put the pawn on e5 or not. The knight goes to e8. That is possible to do. But I will play bishop to g5 first. Just developing the bishop in d6. No kind of typical idea, I guess. Knight to d5, occupying this outpost and exerting some pressure on black spawn structure. So at some point I can take on f6 simply. Okay, knight here, then c3. Kind of very calm dragon, you know. Without any risk. 
Simply proven position of pieces. Oh, G5, the first concession. Okay. Let's try to use, to exploit that concession somehow. So F5 is attempt in square to occupy, but immediate knight E3 leads to bishop takes E4, right? Right. <sighs> if I play H4 prior to that, then G4. Okay, so maybe F4 takes, bishop takes, then, for example, queen to H5 looks also tempting. Knight to d4, e6. Okay, also not that great. Okay, let's start with the f. We're just protecting e4. It is my main weakness. And then we will see. So, I will still have a chance to play anything connected with h4, f4, knight e4, knight e3. Well, somebody suggested knight to d4, but then e6. <coughs> and I don't have a good square to go away and after e6 i have this e3 square so e4 is not hanging that's the point okay so d6 is not a weakness right let us try to attack it okay knight to c5 Knight to c5. Do I want him to take on b3? Well, not really. Not really. So let's put my knight to the center. Rook there. Let's centralize everything. Let us centralize everything. Well, what about just putting everything like b3, c4, even? Or just knight b5 next move, no? Knight to g6. Probably with the idea of bishop e5, yeah? Okay, let's see how it works. Knight b5 attacking d6. <laughs> Bishop e5. <coughs> h6 is handy, buddy. Can I take it or not? Or can I just take on d6? Come on. Knight takes d6, bishop takes, bishop takes is fine. Knight takes d6, rook goes to c6, for example. Then knight to f5, taking on d8, next move, so also fine. If her goes to b8, then probably something like knight to c4, no? Hmm. Or knight to g4. I don't know, I think... If I don't blunder anything, I can take on d6. Okay, the first achievement looks like that. So a pawn. Okay, so let's do this. Attacking the queen and the rook and everything. So rook d2, knight e7, check, then takes on d2, extra exchange. If queen goes away, then simply take on d8. If. Aha, uh -huh. another move that I have probably underestimated but i think it's not a big problem okay i'll take it to take one more or just knight h6 i don't know which is better 
to take one more palm probably why not yeah we'll take the one it's two extra palms now it looks just fine okay let us simplify it No, I don't accept a draw in this position. Sorry, I want to win. Oops. That was my mistake. Or not. Probably not. <laughs> yeah. Let's get closer. Okay, limit the bishop. To capture or not, I'm just not to g4. I don't know which is better. Okay, I'll capture, let's see. And then just exchange in the knight was really annoying one okay do you want to play a bone ending buddy with my extra pawn oops the bishop Hello, my bishop. Yes, so now I equalized. I equalized. Now I lost the one to Alekinin, I won the one to Alekinin, and the one was a draw. So, I promise you, man, next time I will win, and I did that, okay? So not a bad game, after all. Okay, so probably the last one. Uh, who wants to play? Who wants to play? Who wants to play, guys? Who wants to, to play more than anybody else? Just let me know. Uh, nobody answers, so this means I will just check somebody Patrick zero six is there a challenge or not no there is no challenge and it's actually against the rules so I have to play only premium members okay let it be chess player no he's offline so Albert Albert. So the last game for today, guys. So after which I'll go sleeping, trying to recover. Okay, Philidor. Old good Philidor. Let's make it fun. G6. to e2 so my opponent doesn't want to attack me which means I will attack him if it is possible of course Okay, let's protect this diagonal. It is too important to give it up. <sighs> I 
well bishop to e3 well this bishop is vulnerable here can i just challenge it immediately kind of d5 move or something no d5 just d5 right maybe to start with knight e4 and then d5 looks tempting knight e4 bishop d4 d5 okay let's try it let us try it So if bishop takes d5, for example, bishop takes d5, c d5, well, I have a pair of bishops, of course. I have a isolated pawn, but uh, that's not a big problem, I guess. No, it looks like the temperature is jumping. Oh, God. So my opponent thinks a lot. Okay, take your time, man. I am not against. Oh, knight b3, what did that? So d takes e4, queen takes queen, rook takes queen, bishop takes e4, rook comes back to the e file, let's say. Rook to d1 then. Hmm interesting but let's see okay can't be bad i guess queen takes rook takes bishop takes rook goes back attacking the bishop then rook goes to d1 let's say we just play knight to d7 oh 92 well this leads to f5 my friend Okay, thank you very much, guys, for uh, just being with me today. There was a hard evening, hard night for me. Uh, being ill and playing Blitz at the same time is quite a quite a challenge, okay, believe me. So I hope next time I will uh, feel uh, much better. Uh, at least I have to do that uh, before next Tuesday. So next Tuesday will be... As usual, a training Tuesday, we will try to solve these uh, technical issues with the uh, technical staff. So, uh, I'm not sure what will be the topic. Uh, definitely, we will continue with um, decision-making process. Uh, probably, it will be another portion of nice studies, like uh, in the episode number four. So, anyway, it will be a lot of stuff to learn, a lot of stuff to follow. Uh, interesting and instructive as usual so uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, by the way there are a lot of uh, interesting videos there already so uh, see you next time take care bye bye